Okay. Alright, welcome back, and now we're doing adolescence. So, yeah, let's get going. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. We are, like, in a new part, and it's getting pretty new for me, too, so let's continue. First things first, we need to get you a girlfriend. And yeah. I would ask you which one you want to date, but let's face it, there is only <laughs> one woman for you. Uh, let's see, we met her in school. And there yeah. is only one woman for you, and that is Henrietta, the ugly girl. <laughs> so... <laughs> no, no, I remember that one. <laughs> oh, it's changed. You'll be glad to know it's changed. Yes. Her stats have changed. Uh, she is moderately trustworthy, not very gentle, not or very calm. So she's very calm, but not very gentle. She is very happy. She's moderately confident, and she is very attractive now. Wow. So now yeah, you're. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> now you're going out with Henrietta, the hot girl. Yeah, now, now we are talking about me in real life, you know, so... Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway. It'd be, I'm becoming me now. <laughs> okay, cool. tonight is Halloween. Some of your more fun-loving friends are going door-to-door, -door, and some of your more mischievous friends are going out to play pranks. You must decide on which group you would like to join. The fun-loving or the mischievous ones. The mischievous ones, because I always want to be cool, so, yeah, sure. Loaded with eggs and shaving cream, you come upon the group who decided to go door-to-door -door. instead. What a bunch of sissies. You can leave them alone or throw eggs and cover them with shaving cream. Uh... If I leave them alone, will that make sense? No, because I am with the bad guys, so maybe I should throw eggs at them. Yeah, that was a choice you made before, when you got beaten up. You splatter oh, yeah, them with no. eggs, ruining their costumes and their candy. They have nothing to retaliate with. One of the younger, smaller ones is crying. How do you feel about this? Guilty, or that's their problem? Uh, I think I feel, feel a little guilty, because, yeah, probably. I mean, like, yeah. Sure. Apologies are handed out and accepted. The next day at school, one of them places a raw egg in your seat before you sit down. Squish! What? Now everyone it's is even. So that... <laughs> that was really mean. <laughs> yes, almost as mean as throwing <laughs> eggs at innocent bystanders. But clearly, yeah. they're the evil ones. <laughs> anyway, okay. you are in one of your ultra-cool moods. While cruising through the house, you bump your foot on a piece of furniture and let out a swear word. Uh, your mother calls you in from the other room. She says, did you say what I thought you said? You can be truthful, less than truthful, or too cool to care. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, I'm too cool to care. No, that's not me. You can okay, tell her you did. It's too late. You can tell her you did and apologize, tell her you didn't, or tell her you did and so what? Uh, I did and so what? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> so what, she decides, to show you so what. You are not too big to get your mouth washed out with soap. You're su with superhuman strength, she grabs you by your cool haircut, dumps you in the cool bathroom, and forces a quarter bar of soap with lemon-fresh skin conditioners down your ultra-cool throat. Ah! Oh, oh, yeah. That's the American way of punishment. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway... <laughs> Okay, apparently that is that is Europe's view of the American way of punishment. There you go. All right, there I goes <laughs> Andrea. There goes Andrea Winner. Jeremy has said that she likes guys who are rough and tough. She is looking over at you and smiling. You can be rough and tough or uninterested. Ah, uh, uninterested. You don't want any of her booty. Uh, you can smile back <laughs> and tend to your business. Oh, you're going to be uh, tending to your business. I see. Or you can pull in your gut and walk over to her. Um, I pull my gut and... That's uh, not going to be uninterested. Yeah. So um, you're, you're going to need to change your mood. Yeah, do, or... that, do the right one. Um, uh, in the, in the interested. Yeah, sure. Okay. I guess this girl doesn't strike your fancy right now. Since she did show some interest in you, it was admirably, 
admirable of you not to try to take advantage of her. Thoughtfulness increases. Okay. <laughs> Christina Farber got a little wild playing spin the bottle at a friend's house yesterday. As a result, your neck looks like it was stung by a pack of wild hornets. Either that or yeah. you were fighting the pain. Or, <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, as you walk uh, out of the bathroom, Dad inquires about the yeah. curious-looking marks. Your dad is Big Boss, so he knows all about hornet bites. You can be embarrassed, crafty, or out of it. Um, embarrassed. You can give an excuse or tell the truth. Um, an excuse. What excuse would you like to give? Uh, you were stung by a group of wild hornets. Uh, you got your neck caught in the car door. What? <laughs> or your neck caught in the vacuum cleaner. I got it in the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> like, yeah. really? What were you doing um, with it? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think you know how to do a vacuum cleaner. Your relationship with your family really isn't so great these days. The tensions cause Dad to snap at you. He says, don't give me that line of bull, young man. I know a hickey when I see one. He neglects to tell you that when he was your age, his friends used to call him Drac. At the end of his lecture, he reminds oh, you about the dangers of premarital sexual contact, listing a host of exotic diseases and their symptoms in excruciating detail. <laughs> well, I was sweat to die now. <laughs> This episode oh, contains the subject matter of a sexual nature. Of course, we're going to continue. Five of your friends have been have decided to chip in and buy one box of condoms between the six of you. You are elected to make the purchase. You can be embarrassed, anxious, or calm. Calm. You can buy the condoms or refuse to buy the condoms. Uh, I would buy them. <laughs> you walk into the drugstore and notice a pretty teenage girl taking care of customers for the druggist. You place your order. You can open the box, take out a condom, place one on the desk, saying, here's one I'm leaving you as a tip, or walk out of the store confidently. Uh, the first one. <laughs> hmm. Right to so, business, you know. <laughs> you've never actually been with a woman, have you? <laughs> the girl <laughs> sneers at you. She asks if you would kindly take it back and pull it down over your head, where it can cover up your obnoxious <laughs> mouth. I think you were a bit too forward. Well, live and learn. <laughs> that was good. Your friends all go to the shore for a beach party. It's late at night. One of your friends has a suggestion. Let's go skinny dipping, he says. You can be shy oh, or yeah, uninhibited. Uh, in, in yeah, the first one. Shy. So you can take uh, your clothes off, wait for everyone else to take their clothes off, or keep your clothes on. Wait to uh, all the other one is taking the clothes off to get the, some, to be in. Yeah. Some kids take off their clothes and some chicken out. Do you still want to go ahead with this? Yes or no? Um. No. Later, a girl you've had your eye on for weeks whispers to you, I was just waiting for you to go, then I would have done it too. Hmm. I don't hmm. see why she'd be doing that, but whatever. You are on the Whoa. school bus. On... Did I just say no to a girl? Help. Help? Really? Oh, okay. That's the response? Help. What? Help. You are on the school bus on a... Besides, you're already with Henrietta. Anyway, you're on the school oh, yeah. bus on a class field trip, getting cozy with your newest girlfriend. You can be amorous but discreet, amorous but indiscreet, or not amorous. Uh, can you repeat the uh, alternatives again? Discreet, indiscreet, or not amorous. Uh, in, yeah, in, indiscreet. Alright, you can begin a makeout session, just cuddle, or have an intellectual conversation. Um, cuddle. I don't think that's gonna work with your. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You call? No, it did. You call that cuddling? An octopus with five extra arms could be more tactful. You are a cad. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
thank goodness it's my girl, so uh, she can accept it. <laughs> a couple of your friends have convinced someone to purchase a bottle of very cheap wine. Very, very cheap wine. They are wow. excited about the idea of getting drunk. You can be excited or anxious slash ambivalent. Mm, excited. You can share the wine, walk away, or act like you were drinking the wine, but don't. Uh, act like I'm drinking the wine, but don't. You made an inappropriate response. Please choose again. Oh. Uh, uh. Why can't they just have the answer that is wrong? I mean, like, okay, um, yeah, do me, let me drink the wine. There is a 12-ounce bottle of wine to be distributed to 15 boys. You take a few sips. How, what do you feel? Drunk or perfectly normal? Uh, uh, drunk, kind of, yeah. You wouldn't be drunk after a few sips, dude, unless you are the greatest no, lightweight no. in the history of pansies ever <laughs> <laughs> no i mean like uh, yeah yeah i was not drunk i mean like <laughs> you know, i got drunk of one bottle in real life one time <laughs> yeah that's just a different story okay yeah yeah but you weren't sharing that one bottle between like five was... different people <laughs> no no of course you feel perfectly no, normal not even a young child could get tipsy on two sips of wine Many of your friends act goofy, but you will probably just sit around watching them and laughing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Xiang Li is a new Chinese student who can barely speak English. <laughs> he appears awkward and is not aware of modern styles of dress and is a bit clumsy. Everyone in school has begun to make fun of him. You can be sympathetic or uh, unconcerned. <laughs> uh, I to be unconcerned. You can try to approach him or ignore him. I'll ignore him. <laughs> there is no reason for you to put yourself out for this person, especially when it means the risk of losing your friends, right? On the other hand, a new friend from a foreign country may might have been able to give you a lot more than he would have taken in the long run. <laughs> your, friends wow, that was smart. your friends ask if you would like to be in a rock group. You can be excited about the idea, or not thrilled. Excited, yeah, sure. I'm going to be the new Niran. <laughs> you can start planning, or tell them you would like to pass on the offer. Uh, what was the first? Start planning. Start planning. Your first task is to come up with a suitable name for such a group. There are several suggestions. Choose the one you like best. The Tormented, The Cabbage Heads, or Larry and the Mumblers? Wow, none of those was really good, but... The Tormented uh, isn't bad. What? The Tormented isn't bad. It's better than The Cabbage Heads. Yeah, let's try The Tormented. That sounded kind of cool. Uh, kind of, yeah, sure. That sounds like a fitting name for a talent of your caliber. Now you must choose a position in the band. Bass player, drummer, lead guitar, or keyboard? Oh, uh, I think I'm going to be, I play guitar, so lead guitar, yeah, sure. Fine, maestro. Do you want to be the band leader or just a band member? A band member. You take a low profile, but the audience can't resist your star qualities. Those eyes, <laughs> those long, silky locks. Move over, Mick Jagger. Here comes the new king of rock and roll. Yeah, woohoo. Yeah. Livingston, a f <laughs> Livingston, a foreign <laughs> friend from Jamaica, asks you over to his house for dinner. Your first course is an interesting-looking kind of soup. You take a sip and find it delicious. You inquire, what kind of soup is this? Livingston's mother replies that it's a, oh. replies with a proud smile on her face. Turtle soup. You can be horrified, ambivalent, or open. Open. Dude, I've eaten worse shit than that in <laughs> Snake Eater. <laughs> anyway, try <laughs> to eat all the soup, eat a little more of the soup, or stop eating the soup and hope no one notices. Uh, what was the first? Try to eat all the soup. 
No, I don't want to eat something I, don't, I probably don't like. Or uh, said, I stare in the one of. You said you found it delicious, so you do like it. Oh, oh yeah, okay, okay, oh. yeah, then I'll take the first one. Eat the soup. Your willingness to experience new things is remarkable. Besides, those little pieces of meat taste just like chicken. Your adventurousness delights Livingston's mom, who shows you pictures of her island and tells you about its people and customs. Intellectual sphere rises. <laughs> Yay! I'm getting smarter. That's good. <laughs> Are you old enough to get a job yet? Almost. You need money. Okay. When I'm 15 and 16, I can get a job. I think. Or I can get when I'm drunk too. But yeah. Anyway, I won't we'll let you get one yet. A group of kids you hardly know have just made fun of you. Usually, this might not bother you, but lately, you have been feeling down in the dumps about a lot of things. Your physical appearance has been disappointing you. Your family has been giving you a hard time about almost everything. No one seems to be saying or doing anything positive towards you. You have a bad case of the blues. You can be depressed slash sla slash sad, suicidal, or feeling just fine. Um... Wow, this is kind of hard alternative. Uh, if I'm feeling fine, that's kind of weird. I mean, I should feel bad, but yeah, I got to feel fine. I don't want to go on drugs. <laughs> you can talk to someone, get s drunk or stoned, or let it pass. Pass. Oh no, then the feeling is going inside me. Yeah, okay, let it pass. You're going to let it pass, okay. Yeah. You are denying the feelings you have, which may cause you to act them out inappropriately. It is perfectly okay to feel blue some of the time. Life can't always be rosy. You probably would have felt better talking to someone about it. Yeah, that's true, but yeah. <laughs> John, a very close friend of yours, has been de has been very depressed lately. Uh, you have seen him moping one. around. Yeah, hopefully he'll do a little bit better this time. The halls at school, <laughs> keeping to himself. One day, while you are running an errand for a teacher on the top floor of the building, you see a shadow swaying on the school roof. You peer through the design in the glass window panel. St on the glass window plan, you look through the window to see what is happening out there. It's John. You call out to him and discover that he is planning to jump off. He wants you Don't to go it. to go away and make believe you didn't see Sounds him. Like, yeah. He starts talking about wanting to be at peace. He refers to rock stars who have died and how he will get a chance to be with them. Except that they will not want to hang out with John. Suddenly, while he is talking, John loses his footing and begins to fall off the roof. He is able to grab onto a flagpole that is attached to the side of the building. He looks frightened and begins to cry. You can be panic-stricken, anxious, but try to remain calm or calm. Um, save now because I think I maybe can die. <laughs> um, uh, w w say the alternatives again. You can panic, you can be anxious, but try to remain calm or be calm. Uh, be calm. Yeah, I remind sure. you that did not work last time. Oh no, uh, the middle one then. Panic is not good to. I mean, like, if I panic, then I. You can get help or try to help him. Right in the middle. You can get help or you can try to help him yourself. I think if we try to get help, I mean, I think it would take too long, so uh, I tr think um, I have to try to help him myself. Alright, if you uh, want to do that. I know I uh, wouldn't, help. but, you know, if you want to, that's fine. Okay, uh, okay, uh, get help then. Alright. You tell John to hang on for a few seconds while you get help. But as you find a teacher and tell him what has happened, John loses his grip and falls to his death. Apparently I don't know huh. what I'm doing. You can feel vindicated what? now. <laughs> that was so... Uh... <laughs> that was not, not, not my fault, it was my <laughs> inner voice. <laughs> John is splattered well. all over the sidewalk, and you and your friends are hanging around it. Oh, in the bathroom, sorry. Your friend takes out some magic markers and begins to write on the walls. He asks if you want to write something too. What will you do? Be creative and draw something, or tell him you don't want to get into trouble. Uh, I want to draw something. I want to leave a mark. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you draw a figure of a female and label some of the more interesting parts. If the labels were not so descriptive, <laughs> your picture would be practically impossible to recognize. 
You and your friends are snickering at the picture and deciding what girl's name to put above it when you hear a distinctive sound. Flush? Mr. Black was evidently on the can while you were redecorating the men's room. Attention, gentlemen. Mr. Black is an ex-Marine drill sergeant. The two of you forward march to the principal's office. <laughs> no. You are still much too young to buy liquor, but your friends want to get wasted tonight. They plan on waiting outside the liquor store and asking older customers to buy it for them. You can be excited slash interested or not interested. Ah, uh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, interested. Join them slash get ready to party or find something else to do. Uh, get ready to party. Whoa, party party. <laughs> Almost everyone refuses to make the purchase for you. Eventually, you give up and find something else to do. Oh, okay. Alright, you're 14, so hopefully now you can get a job. In Norway, it is illegal to buy uh, um, alcohol to children, so <laughs> I think that's all over the world anyway. <laughs> Most so places. that's probably why they are saying no. Most, pla Most places do that. Anyway, you're still too young to get a job, yeah. so we're going to continue to make you older. Early yeah. in the ah. evening, a friend's mother appears mysteriously at the door and asks to speak to your mother. From another room, you hear the woman say that you have been a bad influence on her son and that your mother should try harder to raise you the right way. Her complaints, by the way, are totally unjustified. First, you barely know her son, and second, he is the biggest juvenile delinquent in town, without your help or anyone else's. You can be furious, guilty, what? or calm. Uh, guilty? Why would you be guilty? You didn't do anything. I don't... Okay, I know. Um, <laughs> calm them. You can go in and give the woman a piece of your mind, wait until she leaves, and then have a talk with mom, or do nothing. I would give her a piece of my mind. You made an impro stop. inappropriate response. Oh. Uh, um... You can wait until she leaves, and then have a talk with mom, or do nothing. Yeah. Uh, wait to, uh, yeah, to have a talk with my mom. You're obviously confident that this woman is not being totally accurate. You guess that your mother won't believe a word of what she says. Naturally, she doesn't. You choose the most, you chose the most re mature set of responses. Yay! You have just mustered up the courage to ask Faith Morgan, voted hottest bod of the century by fellow classmates, your, what, fourth, fifth girlfriend... In addition to Henrietta, your actual girlfriend, out on a date. She looks up you up and down, rolls her eyes, and says, Be real. You can be angry, depressed, or unflappable. Uh, angry. Yeah, angry, yes. You can sure. walk away, say something to her, or give her an almost universally understood finger signal. She's kind of a bitch. So, uh, yeah, and give her the, um, yeah, the fingers. Gonna give her the finger, <laughs> alright. Save it. She already thinks you're a jerk. Why etch the impression of yourself as a boorish slob any deeper into her mind? You are currently mad. Uh, you are currently madly in love with yet another woman, yet another girl, who is having cute. a birthday party next week. You are trying to think of what to get her. She has hinted about a very expensive piece of jewelry that would just about wipe out your life savings if you chose to buy it for her. You can be generous, mixed feelings, or not that generous. Is this Henrietta? Uh, I guess, yeah, Henrietta. Okay, then I will buy anything. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so you're generous, you can buy her the jewelry, or you can try to think of something else. Uh, no, I would think of something else because I'm creative. Yeah, sure. You can still be generous and not have to sell your blood to pay for gifts. Your intellectual sphere status shows you are smart enough to come up with an inventive gift idea which she loves and which doesn't leave you penniless. Oh, that was cute, eh? More sexual. <laughs> While sitting around the house with a girlfriend one night, probably Henrietta, she says she wants to give you a manicure. There is nothing more sexual than this. Everyone knows that. You can be appreciative <laughs> or unappreciative. Uh, appreciative. 
I like to take care of myself. So you yeah. can accept <laughs> the manicure or refuse the manicure. Uh, I'll take the manicure. <laughs> You're metrosexual now. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Letting your friend groom you puts her in a very romantic mood. Girls are weird. After she finishes the job, you get cozy on the couch and have a hot and heavy time. Unfortunately, the next day your friend sees your polished nails and rag on you for days about it. Little do they know. <laughs> Dude, it, it doesn't matter if it got you, like, sex, okay? You're still metrosexual now. Dude, there is no reason you should... I think it's that, that I only have to start... <laughs> You know what? I'm as liberal thinking as the next guy, but there is no reason a man should ever do anything to his nails besides clip them. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Your dad's boss thinks that you are a fine young man. He is incorrect. He would be honored if you would consider escorting his lovely daughter, Mathilda, to a company dinner dance. Suspicious, oh, interested, yeah. or disinterested? I uh, kind of that sounds really suspicious. <laughs> suspicious. Accept the invitation, yeah. make an excuse, or tell him you'll get back to him. Uh, I'll accept the invitation. What kind of girl needs her father to make a date for her? You see your father's boss waiting outside the country club where they are staying, where they are staging the affair with his mustachioed chauffeur. Wait a minute, that's what? not the chauffeur, it's Mathilda! <laughs> Your wildest dreams have come true, no! except they are nightmares. No. You make love to a woman with cheating? facial hair. <laughs> she is she he's cheating with the um, with another. No. Oh, no, I'm getting sad and angry. Well, wow. an what ad <laughs> in the paper says. Wanted. Young adults, 15 to 20, for acting slash modeling jobs. Ask for Rod. Yes, just go out to the street and start asking people for the Rod. This will only <laughs> get you amazing adventures, I assure you. Yeah, yeah, I sure do that. <laughs> you can be interested or not interested. Uh, I sit in model job. Yeah. I always wanted to be a model when I was young, so yeah, I'm interested. <laughs> Stein Eric is very interested in getting the rod. You can apply for the job or not apply for the job. I am applying for it. Rod seems very interested in you. Oh, so the rod is interested in Stein Eric in return. I see. I, and I gives... hope Rod is a uh, girl. Uh, I don't think so. And gives you an appointment no! for an interview. When you arrive at the place where the interview is to be held, you notice that it is a bare apartment with almost no furniture. Just a mattress and an old desk with a phone on it. Ah! <laughs> no! You can Let leave or up. stay. Uh, it, it could kind of be kind of... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I... Like, <laughs> Oh, I guess. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Stein Eric is not oh, prepared to receive the rod. <laughs> oh. but, uh, this place could only... Model, yeah. <laughs> this place could only have meant bad news. The rod. Oh, I guess. Stein Eric did not receive <laughs> the rod, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it was... <laughs> Your dad decides he wants to have a long talk with you about college. In his talk, he advises you to do all the things you think you would like to do least. He suggests careers that you couldn't see yourself doing in a million years. He talks about college that seem dull and uninteresting. Say, son, have you ever thought about going to military college? Oh. You get the distinct sense that he has already planned the next eight years of your life for you. At this point, you may not... You may not be sure if you want to go to college at all. You can be angry, anxious, depressed, or calm. Uh, calm. I need to kind of... You... Of angry, you know, it's not good to be how angry it's just. <laughs> you can listen quietly or tell him you are not interested in any of that. Listen quietly. You're not going to tell him that he's like... Completely planning your yeah, life okay. for you, and you don't. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, he's trying to ruin me. Yeah, I'm not going <laughs> to agree to that. <laughs> Sometimes parents get overzealous helping their children plan for the future. They may have a real need to control their children and are fearful of giving up that control. You express your desire to control your own life to your father. He has difficulty understanding why you might resent his help. Expressing yourself now prevents you from having a major blow up with him later on. Okay, so he's not going to get angry with me. Oh, that's good. Alright, well that's it for this part of Alter Ego Male. Steineric has just averted conflict with his father. <laughs> Nothing could be more exciting. So yeah, come yeah. back for more of this excitement. Yeah, well, and listen to more of the internet breaking up. So yeah, we'll enjoy all of this next time. And I'll see you guys later, and I'll have Steineric back on the call by then. So, yeah. See ya. Gosh, darn Hello? it. Yeah. You are just a yeah. troublemaker, you know that? Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> you made the Skype thing come up on the front of the recording. Bye, folks. Oh.